So I had a question today about the quick pick uh, tool inside NX when doing selections. So if we've got multiple objects under the cursor, we have a tool in NX that lets us lets us uh, cycle through those and, and select the one we want. Um, in older versions of NX, uh, so this is NX9, this is several, several years old, I'm going to rotate this around so we've got a bunch of stuff stacked on top of itself <laughs> here in the middle. Um, in older versions of NX, if we, we got into a region um, where there were multiple things under the cursor, um, you'll notice as we move the cursor, it's it's just the, 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 the reticle there. And as we stop then and wait for just a, a fraction of a second or about a second, um, it gives us the little three dots there. And that shows us the, the quick pick. In, in older versions of NX, when you would select here, you would get this quick pick dialog that would come up right next to the cursor. Um, and you could move to this dialog and you could scroll through this list and, and you, this would highlight the objects that you were interested in and you could pick one of these out here, right? And, and that's how this worked in, in previous versions. Um, one of the things that we changed in, and, and I guess the other important thing to notice here is that in previous versions, when you got in this mode, the scroll wheel on the mouse was still doing zoom, right? In older versions of NX here, the scroll wheel did not do anything with the quick pick list in previous versions. Okay, and that's that's important. Um, one of the improvements we think <laughs> that, that we made here was this. So if this is in a modern version of NX, um, in a similar situation, if we come in and 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 select here that quick pick list first of all is going to come up by default up in the upper right hand corner over there and it's going to be a little bigger by default um, but it's also going to be out of the way right now there are some who who think you still have to come over here and and do the list right but the reality of the new one is that you can keep your cursor right where it is and the wheel now will scroll the wheel for you right and then you can use your regular MB1, usually your left mouse button, to do the selection um, right from here. So I'll, I'll click again with the same button, the same left mouse button here, to select a specific face uh, in that context, right? We've selected one that's <laughs> down, the, down the stack of ways, right? If I escape and do that again over here on one we can see, for instance, um, I gotta wait for the wait for the quick pick. There we go. Uh, again, I can keep my cursor right where it is. I don't have to move at all. And, and I can just scroll down until I get the specific face that I'm after, right? And once I found the one that I want, then again, I, I reselect or select with the same button again, and that one will, will start to highlight, okay? So, so we, we kind of think that the fact that we've moved the quick pick away from the cursor is a good thing because it, it, it used to get in the way right as it was right here right on top if you moved anything or or rotated or did things like that this this thing right next to your cursor big window right next to your cursor was really an obstruction a lot of the time and we ended up moving it out of the way anyway <laughs> and uh and, and so we think that this new concept of of again having it come up let me wait for it there we go having it come up over on the side in case you need to look at it um you know you may not ever actually have to look at it you just use your scroll wheel get down to the one you want and and then and then go right um with the same button is the new way this works uh so that's that's a, a little bit about the quick pick and and how that behaves now i hope you you find that useful